Thomas plays. And of course, the load of them have got V6s, so they sound cool as well. Here we go. I can't stop smiling. It just looks so brilliant. The rocket dumps out Shaky Jr. on the back straight. Meanwhile, Joe Knight are getting dumped out as well. We've also lost James Steele on the back straight. 390 Daz, a very 96 band band, and she is collected heavily by 2830. The rest race their way through, and it's 370 leads them. 370, Mark French from 721, the bad boy, Dan Clark. And through they all come, looking absolutely glorious. 721, Dan Clark is going to turn around 370. That was the race for the lead. Ours on the back straight, 85. Ellis has decimated 286 with a huge shot. 721 now spins around 273. Mad Mouse has 209 Bing. And Minch continues to try. Oh, and they're all piling in. We told them all to take it easy. But what the hell? Harry Bradbury, I'm not even sure that was intentional, goes in on the knee. And we've got a red flag situation. We have a red flag situation, a problem on the back straight, I would imagine. Concern over there. It looks like it's for James Ellis. And from our point of view, that car doesn't actually look that badly damaged. But now you're looking at it a bit more closely. I get the feeling that 85 limo might have snapped a bit funny. So the reds are out and showing, hopefully, it's nothing too serious. We will get this back on the way. It's a complete restart, Thomas, in graded order. Complete restart to heat number one. So it's a depleted field, but uh, they get underway. I'll tell you what, I thought Mutley was going to blow up Darren Till then. Early action, see 721, Dan Clark's been five or seven in the infield blocks. He gets clobbered by Mutley and comes under attack now from Finbar the boot. Number 90, Joe 90, making the running. Darren Till has come there even the worst, worst possible space. But uh, everyone getting their heads down, or are they? Through they all come on the back stretch. 886, the rocket spins around 547. Joe, John Joe Reynolds, the bad boy's been dumped out in front of us. It's Mad Mouse and leads as Coop spins around Goldie. And this is cool. This is just so cool. Oh, we look for our leaders. 271 Mouse, 390 Dazza. They are your leaders. 220, lurching second as the rocket spins around Carlos. And he is clobbered head on by Darren Fenley. Darren Fenley, one of a handful of drivers tonight, battling it out for a place in the Speed of World Final in a month's time. 
Darren Fenley chasing Craig Osborne and Dan Latham in the battle for the final two spots on the big grid at Ipswich. So uh, Darren Fenley can do with a good result here and he's off to a flying start. 273 in second for Joe 90. He's not only leading, but he is flying. And that's super smart. Mark 2 Granada Estate. On the back straight, Dazza sends Mouse around in the race for second place. He has gone. Halfway next time, Thomas, please. Halfway next time. Do they all come in tonight's opening heat for the National Langers? Joe Knight, your leader. Matt Mouse lurking on the uh, home straight, maybe, with uh, his eye on the man who just took it out five to go. This time, please, for the number 90 car of Adrian Harvard. Scott Saunders has gone. The Irish Granada Hearse is a retirement. 90 leads, 392nd, 2203rd. 6, 7, 3, Fenley up to 4 as James Steele falls by the wayside on the back straight. Mad Mouse looking to try and get himself into position on the home straight, but unable to do so at the moment. And now looking to perhaps try and make the move. And uh, to be fair, the Mouse, that was, uh, I think it's Dan Stacey he's after, and he didn't take the cheap shot. In fact, no, I think Mouse has got someone else in mind, and it's Dan Clark who he attacks on opposite and spins him around. And then he goes in with a T-bone on the bad boy. Finbar dumps out John Joe Reynolds, and Joe Knighty comes through. Another lap closer. 396, 73 is a race for second. Darren Fenley looking to try and give himself the best possible chance of going that big race in Ipswich next month. One to go though for Joe Knighty as Fenley's going to move into second. A fine drive on the back of the grid. Mouse putting in a big hit down here to Dan Clark in front of us. The rest coming through. 2 0 in 4, 7 0 2. I think the majority of the finishers are indeed going to qualify. But it's Joe 90 who wins it in the number 90 car. And uh, again, good driving there by Mouse. He was looking for the head on the Dan Clark. Dan Clark back on the infield. Mouse avoided the hit. Can't ask fairer than that. Through they come with the spots of the positions. We've got all Thomas. Red flags, please. Red flags, please. Between racing and heat number one. Thomas, I can confirm to you the game. I've got to stress. That the entertainer rewards in the heats, we made it clear they were going to go more for full contact driving rather than the one big hit. Uh, so with that in mind, the entertainer trophy goes to 721 Dan Clark, who I don't think went past the car. Uh, fantastic. Four